a very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we're here at the Middle East Banking Innovation Summit 2017. And it is, was very informative and interesting to talk with the leaders uh, from UAE, uh, uh, in Saudi and Kuwait and Bahrain. Uh, about the challenge they are facing. I think the, the biggest challenge that we are seeing and us as a payment service provider as well we are uh, addressing is how to address the uh, key, key needs of the new generation. So as bankers we are used to provide services and products that are tailored to the typical customer. Currently the uh, GCC is one of the youngest uh, uh, when it comes to demographics the, which will bring with it a, a new generation of banks' uh, customers. Personally, I believe this is a cusp of retail banking, this decade. It's similar to what happened in the 60s with ATMs coming in, I think this decade will see emergence of digital banking like never before. But there's mobile, online, call center, chatbots, artificial intelligence, all of that will come together in the next three years in totally change the way banking is done. So it's a very timely conference, a very good discussion about what's more important, innovation or customer experience. And I'll always vote every time for customer experience. We've had lots of conversations with, with banks during the event. We've had uh, very good dialogues with Sama, with ENBD, with Adib, um, NBK and many more. And the basic theme that's come out in a few discussions is all the banks are very well read and they do understand the shifting of the sands on which technologies and which solutions they need to focus on. I was quite impressed actually. So there is not only you know, a great set of people here, but what they showcase, some of them showcase the cutting edge technology, not just new edge technology, but cutting edge, makes it very insightful, gives a lot of ideas and thoughts to take things forward. Such event bring us together, uh, we share different views, and I have learned a lot actually within these two days. And I think, you know, uh, it's good to have it like uh, maybe every six months. I think it's an excellent platform because it's not just bankers, uh, it gives us a chance to interact with other banks from the region, give us a chance to interact with regulators. It also allowed us to meet with some of the key service providers from companies like SAP, IBM, which also is a key to the future because I think partnerships are going to play a bigger role going forward. This is the form that you know every chief digital officer or every CIO you know have to have or have to attend to. I mean, uh, the Banker Innovation Summit for the Middle East has been here for what now, seven years. The best and breed of uh, companies as a sponsor, they come over to showcase their uh, innovation and to show off what's coming up next. Plus, we have, you know, the old timers here in the GCC where we can meet, uh, meet together, exchange uh, ideas, exchange changes. So this is the one event that I always try to be here every year to attend. On average, 60% of the revenues and profits of banks in the region are retail-based. Now imagine if organizations like WeChat begin to enter our markets because we believe the regulator will save us. Okay, that's, that's the starting point most days. Well, it's, it's, it's debatable, we can argue that one. But if organizations like WeChat enter the market here, if organizations like Amazon decide to enter the payment market here, then there will be disruption like what we've seen in China, where the Chinese banks typically had 6 to 7% of their revenue built on payments, which in the last five years alone was worth 80 billion. And I am telling you this from documented facts that 95% of that 80 billion has been taken by Alibaba and WeChat. We have few very important conversations, especially after Machi presentation. We have received very good feedback and we believe the business banking will be actually the next big focus because retail banking is already quite familiar with all of the concepts of the bank. But the 
bring the same kind of experience to the different sites, it will be actually something maybe new and something that the world is expecting in this part of the Middle East. The event was very much uh, insightful, uh, full of uh, new things that was going on. Uh, we received, uh, I mean, I've, uh, I've been uh, listening to too many ideas about how things can, can, uh, can go. It's uh, very much helpful. I've been speaking to some of the other panelists and this is one of the larger conferences they've been to in the GCC region. And I think the feedback from them has been extremely positive. This is my first uh, event of this nature in, uh, in Dubai um, and we'll be back next year. I always think that the, the real value of these conferences, at least for, for the banks, is to be able to bring the delegates to them. They can hear the, the, the sessions that they are most interested in on the stage. They can hear from feedback from practitioners. All of us are strong practitioners in our industry. Uh, and if I can judge by the excitement of the feedback I got from my team who was here today, when they were running around the room with me showing me all various stations of interesting new technologies that were being developed, then I think the, the possibility to interact with vendors is, is very, very important and it has a great value for us. So it really adds a lot of value to not just have people come and listen to conference speakers, but actually to see and interact with technologists, fintechs, uh, vendors, who are really at the forefront of everything that's happening in the industry. I think globalization is a fact in many, many industries and in banking as well. Uh, and now with the, with the digitalization, with the fintechs, the boundaries are, are getting down and banks are doing business outside their home country. We at Alior, we are expanding as well internationally with partnerships with other banks, with fintechs outside our home territory and, uh, and others will do as well. So having this type of summits, this type of meetings, it's uh, for, on one hand is a pleasure but also it's useful for all the banks. I think it's, it's always a good idea to share your knowledge and also share some of the important topics that we face. Uh, particularly for me, I'm from the Nordic, so for me it's more sort of to meet some of the technology uh, suppliers, and, and, but of course also to get insight from, from other bankers, so I think that's, that's always a good idea.